Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Hey YouTube, an Unboys Post 1975. Welcome back to another Retro System game comparison. This will be number four. I'm really, really enjoying doing these videos just to see a certain game across a number of systems. As always, I, you know, the chances are I've played this on other systems before, possibly this one more recently than others, because it's Contra. Or in the arcades in the United Kingdom, Europe, and the Oceania Territory at the time, Greiser. Um, so I'm going to play the arcade game. I'm going to play the um, the NES game. I've not played the NES game yet. I'm going to play the Commodore 64 version, and I'm going to play the Sinclair ZX Spectrum version. It's interesting because I could possibly go into variants, which I'm not going to do. Which is because obviously, when the game was ported to home systems, not so much you know United Kingdom and Europe when it came to Amstrad, Commodore 64, and ZX Spectrum. I don't even know if it came out on the Amstrad, because then we just got Griser which is Contra, but obviously, you know, when it came to the uh, the UK and the European versions of, uh, on the NES, I should say, we got Probotector, because apparently people shooting other people, you know, and killing them is wrong, but sentient robots shooting other sentient robots, even though they're alive, is not wrong. But hey, you know, how the world worked back then. Anyway, hope you enjoy. This is Contra, or we live in Europe, or Oceania in 1987, it was called Greiser. It's a running gun game, you know, side-scrolling from left to right. You play one of two individuals who are here to defend the Earth from aliens. If you want a more, well, in-depth, I would say review or synopsis of what the game is about story-wise, watch any of the previous gameplays I've done. But for this gameplay, I want to work my way through the arcade and all the other ports I play. Including the NES, which I did not play. Anyway, uh, yeah, released in 1987 by Konami. It's pretty much, it probably wasn't the first running gun, but I'm, I'm, I think it's safe to say it made the um, the genre very, very, very popular. Right, let's get into it. Right, sticking some money. Money is good. Money's brilliant when you're an adult and it's free when you play main. Right, because it used to kick me in the ass when I was a kid and I had to beg 10 p's off my parents, right? So, run, fart, jump. What's jump? There we go. He's only got two buttons and he struggles with jump. Oh, um, power-ups come from the sky, as you would expect. You know, like, powers and stuff. Oh, check it out, I'm a Ghostbuster. Oh, the bridge blows up. Oh, fuck, it takes me with it, I forgot. I should know better, I've played this very recently, but yeah. Graphically, for the time, 1987, you know, does it compete with Konami stuff? Like, you know, Ghosts and Goblins from, you know, prior to that? I honestly don't know. I can't. I can't jump when I'm in the water, that's very interesting, and I'm submerged, so I can't even fire. Bollocks, let's just leg it. For the purpose of this gameplay, because I want to do a comparison, I'm just going to try and get to the end of each first stage, bollocks, but yeah. I think, you know, it, it, is it eight? Obviously. You know, oh, but I think it still looks really, really, really nice. It would have been nice to see if there was a PC Engine really? version of it, you know, because obviously there wasn't, but... Were there Atari ST and Amiga versions? I honestly don't think there were. No, you don't, you sniper bastard. But yeah, this looks absolutely wonderful. I'm pretty sure Mega Drive, you know, the Mega Drive, or and or Genesis, but on Mega Drive didn't kick into existence until, you know, a year or so later, could easily have done this. Yes, we got other ports of it, I know, you know, sequels, I should say, but, you know, this looks, this looks absolutely wonderful. As long as you bear in mind where it came from. All right, I do a little bit of this gameplay because what's interesting about this stage is this brilliant into the screen stages. Um, it's far more easier in the arcade. As dare I say this before I get spanked sideways and call Susan. Oh shit! Um, oh, I just got electrocuted. Don't was on electric fence, people. Now Arkanoid is happening. Um, I think I used that joke last time. It's it's far more forgiving than other versions, and by that I mean the NES version. And by that I say let's crack into the NES version. Okay, so this is Contra on the NES. Apologies to those in North America who say it's the NES. But I'm English, meh. We call it the NES. It was uh, released by Nintendo but ported by Konami. 
in 1988. It's probably hands down one of the most famous and loved and adored, you know, uh, NES games out there. It's simultaneous two-player, much like the arcade was, and it's an incredibly, incredibly faithful port. He says that, I've never played it before, I've watched many, many, many videos on it, uh, you know, stuff like the Angry Video Game Mode and stuff like that, and, and just think it looks absolutely stunning. It's uh, less forgiving than the arcade. i got to say, I prefer that title screen a hell of a lot more. It also introduced the Konami code, wasn't it? I believe that was introduced on this where you could do a certain amount of stuff, certain amount of stuff, certain amount of input to give yourself extra lives, I believe also works in Gradius. That's how balls horrific hard it was. Right, let's get into it. One player. Again, I've never played it before. This. I know of it, as I said, but I've never played it. Obviously, as I mentioned in the intro, it was called Protector in this country. Right. Graphically right off that, but off the bat. Oh, shit. Um, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, you know, for an 8-bit system. Controls are really, really nice and tight. Drop down. Two-tier system, like they used to do so much. Oh, weapons still come from above. Nice. What, no Ghostbuster 1, like the arcade machine? Obviously no Parallax, that's not to say the 8-bit systems couldn't do it, but what, is it an early game? No, because the, um, the NES, well I can't say, for, I'm not going on the bridge because the bridge blows up, it's like the river choir or something. Um, <clears throat> no, it's like a bridge too far. Uh, you know, um, I completely lost my train of thought. Oh shit, yeah, it's it's an early game-ish, but obviously the yeah, as a the family car or family computer in Japan, it came out a little bit before, did it? Right, again, it's faithful to the arcade in the sense that you can't jump in water, which makes sense, because you can't jump in water. Don't believe me? Try it. Oh, this is going to be a little bit tips risky. Right, I'm going to go down here. I'm amazed. You know, the controls are so silky. You know, maybe hard. I can't jump. I'm bogged down. Oh, should learn to swim. Yeah. Oh, shit. You've got a nice little backflip whirl when you do that. I like the fact that you can jump in the air as well. Right. Ah, oh, screw it. I'm just going to leg it away. But again, I lost my train of thought. Oh, fuck. Down. Nope. Down. Shit nuggets. Is he just... It's just... And obviously there's no difficulty selection. It's just far more brutal than the arcade machine. I'm not saying it's massively more brutal. That's a contradiction in terms, because I just said it's far more brutal. It's... I don't know. It's definitely... Uh, there's no way I'm getting that. Oh, no, it's still there. Crimson Guard from Action Force. I'm oh, sorry, G.I. Joe, if you're in the States. Am I dead? Everybody's dead, Dave. Fuck. All right, no, I take back that statement. It's far more difficult than the uh, the arcade version. But, you know, a generation of gamers grew up on this. They cut their teeth on it. They made men out of them. Yeah, give me that. New game plan. And that. Where's my bloody laser? I'm just running and gunning. In fact, isn't that what it was invented for? Actually, no, come on. Hang on. Bridge. Oh, shit. Bridge destroys you in the arcade, though. Did I get lucky then? If you're stuck on the bridge in the arcade, then you toast. Oh, bollocks, don't. Thank you, don't hang around under the electric gun. Sneaky little bastard. Wait to see the Spectrum version. We'll get to that. Are you still alive, Tank Boy? Oh, fuck. It's lucky these alien bastards haven't, you know, invented rapid fire yet. Hey, fucking alien wankers, we nailed that in World War II. Technically we nailed that in World War I, I'm running away from that gun, it's red and swollen and looks angry. Die before the other gun fucking realises I'm up here and it can shoot me. Ooh! Holy shit, Nuggets, I have no idea how I got out of that. Give me, yes! Spit and death, baby, spit and death. Dying death. Fuck, rocky mistake right there. Ooh, don't do it again. Right, come on. Music's cool as well. Right, there we go. Ooh. Looks like an angry spot. Or oh, zit to our North American friends. Ow, bollocks. That was rocky, Dave. That was very rocky. Game over. One more game. Uh, yeah, I'm appalling at this, I know. One more gameplay and then I'm going to jump onto the next system. Right, come on. Leg it, new game plan. Leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it. Game plan of gods. <clears throat> See? Power ups. They feel sorry for you. They'll come your way anyway. It's almost like social security but in gun form. Right. Jump. Jump. No, that didn't work. Everyone looks like a linebacker in this version, though. I will say that. 
Oh, I ain't going up there. Bad stuff happens up there. Fuck. Ooh. The, 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 the multi-tier... Oh, yeah, I'm underneath your, uh, your radar? Multi-tier system is brilliant, though. Ding ding noises when I and do absolute bollocks of damage, aren't I? Oh fuck it, into the drink again. Oh no, you don't. Saw you coming then, you wanker. Right. Oh bollocks, but didn't see him coming then. This is definitely harder than the arcade. Screw it, I'm legging it. Where are the swollen guns? Swollen guns. Oh looks. Such a poor descriptive term right there. No, you don't. I just, I'm just running. Running's good. It's good for my. Uh, my waistline. There we go, now I'm a Ghostbuster. Oh, but I don't... But if I keep hammering it, it, it stops. I don't like this gun. Oh, screw it. Oy. Right, sneaky little bastard in the... Oh, bollocks. I'm going to call it quits there because I want to jump to the next version. Let's get to the next version. Okay, so now we're on Contra on the Commodore 64. Or at least in my country as I kind of touched upon in the, uh, the intro of this video. Um, Greiser. Released by Ocean in 1987. So that possibly means on the home port, you know, uh, the Commodore, the Amstrad and the Spectrum. It predates the NES version. So of all the, uh, the systems, and I never played this one back in the day. But as I said, I've done a previous video on it. This one should be the most interesting. So I'm not saying it's up there with the NES. But obviously, it's got a colourful palette. Right, let's get into it. Now, I honestly don't know the music's cool. If it's got simultaneous two-player... Oh, jumps on the oh, jumps on the trigger. I forgot, which means yeah, I'm gonna get spanked sideways because I'm playing sort of Wii mode sideways. Hey, there's Iron Bollocks. Ah, the bridge blows you up this time. It really is a bridge too far right into the drink. Graphically, it's really really nice. The scrolling is really really smooth. Um, I'd be curious to see uh, on the Amstrad. Did you have nades? Uh, they don't look like linebackers. They look like people from the 80s. Which makes sense, because it's from the 80s, but they look like Clubland, but yeah. Oh, shit. I completely lost my channel. Oh, yeah, would the, does the Amstrad version have, you know, scrolling like this, or does it have that weird screen update thing, which I never liked? And there we go. It's, it's balls are really hard, as you would expect from a version of Control and or Griser. Amazing box art in this, by the way, by Wakelin, who ripped off Predator and made both the main characters look like rip-offs from Predator, but gave them different haircuts. And then what did an aliens theme, which would make sense. I got... No. I suppose. I ain't going up there, mate. I learnt my lesson on that bridge. I, in fact, you could say I burned my bridges. Um... But yeah, it was. It, I love well wow, bollocks. Oh, a little sneaky camera, camera gun. It's great shit. Hang on. Oh, I can't jump. Is, is, does that door go somewhere? Are there warp zones? Warp zones. Bollocks. I need a knife attack like Green Ray or something, or Rush and attack. That was. You know what? It's not as frisky as other versions, but it's certainly a little bit more frisky than some. And by that I mean the arcade. But yeah, graphically quite nice, scrolling quite nice, music brilliant, controls are tight, just unfortunately, wow, I think that bullet would explode my brain, it wouldn't, you know, knock me off my feet, but just I'm playing this on a Wiimote turn sideways, right, one more, and then we're going to call it quits and jump to the version I have the most fondest memories of, but not necessarily the best version. Oh shit, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, oh, right. oh crap. Are you sh- Oh no, you're not loving me. It's that bloke up there. That bloke? The person in the gun. It's like CCTV or something. Right, there we go. I, I didn't even see that. Oh, down there. Right. Oh, it's that little bloody- The guns are so stealthily camouflaged. I don't think that's fair. I, I certainly don't think that's cricket. Oh, fuck off. Right, I'm gonna call it quits there and we'll jump to the version I have the most nostalgic and strong memories of. Okay, so the final version I want to do is on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. As you can probably tell from the music, it's the 128 
4K version. Now, I did play, as I mentioned in my original gameplay of Gryzer, you know, I did a few, you know, weeks or maybe months ago. I did get, get, get to experience it in the arcades, but my first experience of it on the home systems was on Sinclair ZX Spectrum. As you know, I, I love this machine. It clearly punches above its weight, and there's so many arcade conversions on it that people just didn't think would be possible on it. Let's not say it's a perfect game. Anyway, my brother had this back in the day, not me, but I do remember playing the crap out of this on our Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus 3. Right, that's uh, five. Redefine keys, right. AM, Q up. Um, all right, I left. Uh, N far and Z jump. And they are not my normal keys, but there's restrictions apparently on this. Or maybe it's because my keyboard's wearing out. Right, let's get into it. Right, there we go. Now, graphically, it's monochromic, although there is, look, there's parallax, you know, but the sprites are really nice and really well defined. Ooh, shit. Um, yeah, all right, so some of the bullets like they're stealth bullets. Can't go backwards, though, which is a little bit annoying. Jump. Oh, fuck. I forget that when you die, it's a jump animation, so you think you've jumped successfully, but you bite the big one. But, yeah, it, it's impressive. It's set down. Uh, it's the bridge. It suffers from, you know, the Spectrum's colour palette, but it's still colourful and there's a minimal colour clash by doing the monochromic effect, which I really, really, really like. And I do really enjoy this version, maybe because it's my first experience at home. Uh, it's standard Contra Affair, or in this case I should say Griser, you know, once again by Ocean. That's interesting because they purchased a... a Imagine at this point, and they, you know, they were Imagine were originally a different, you know, label, but um, they pull, uh, they purchased them because they had financial troubles and used them for all their arcade ports, even though they were basically ocean games. I saw you, sneaky wanker. You got to stay on your toes though, because all the bullets are camouflaged. This not being able to go backwards thing really annoys me, but oh, jump! I can't, I can't. Oh, I guess I've been on the fags and I can't run properly or jump properly because I, you know what? I can't go back now. Oh, piss off! Do I just... So, no no bullets come from there, and I, I just shoot mainly at the front of it. That's really disappointing. I completely lost my thread again. But yeah, it's a nice version. These levels are particularly, particularly impressive. If not, balls are horrifically hard. But yeah, it is what it is. If you grew up the Spectrum, I know people who don't just look at it and slate it, but... Oh, I've got a jump. Oh, no, I haven't got a jump mark on me. It's... I think it's a really, really good port. Uh, I would say, but possibly because I'm playing it on keys, so it's not a fair comparison. More playable than the Commodore 64 version, but that might be my input. Jump, oh bollocks, but I think it's a really, really good version nonetheless. Anyway, this is my comparison of Contra on the limited systems that I can play it on. If you have suggestions for comparison videos you would like to see, then um, please leave a comment. I've got Pacland one in the pipes, and I've got a Commando one in the pipes. And sadly, people don't ask for Outrun until I've managed to sort my shit out, because that's proving a little bit difficult. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.